Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about specific charge. Now in my previous video I talked about the exact values that we use for mass and charge of um, atoms and particles, so protons, neutrons and electrons. And I spoke about this element here, this is uranium-235. So uranium-235, that's its mass number, that's how many protons and neutrons it has and this is how many protons it has. 92 protons, 143 neutrons, and electrons at the moment um, has 92. Now, ionization is something very important. It is the addition or loss of electrons. You can ionise an element by changing the number of electrons it has. You cannot change the number of protons it has because it would just become a new element. So I'm going to take this as an example and I'm going to say that I now have an ion and I apologise chemists if this is completely wrong, I'm just using this as an example. I now have an ion of uranium 235 92 2 plus. This is my ion here that I have. This means I have two more positive charges than I do negative charges. So this, is, this has been ionised. So, how many protons I have? I still have 92 protons. I still have 143 neutrons. But the number of electrons I have is 90 because I have lost two. I have two more positives than I do negative. And this is the process of ionization. Now we're going to talk about specific charge and specific charge is a really important part of understanding about Coulomb's law and looking at basically how much charge I'm getting for how much mass I have. And we're going to use my uranium example to explain how we can do specific charges of different areas. So, this is my uranium, and I've got two plus here. And a minute ago, we had protons was 92, neutrons was 143, and I had 90 electrons. Specific charge is charge divided by the mass. So it's how much charge I have for a particle or an atom. Now, what I'm going to do is this object is two plus charge. This has two positives. So I'm going to be doing the specific charge of the uranium 2 plus ion. So it's charge, I've got two positives. So look at this table over here. My proton has a charge of positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And I've got two extras. So my charge is 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. I'm going to be doing the mass of the whole ion. So I need the mass of the proton, the masses of the neutron, and I'm going to need these masses of these electrons here. For first year, protons and neutrons have the same mass. So I'm going to have 235 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 plus 90 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. So I'm going to simplify that down for you. So this is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 all over. It's 235 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 plus uh, 90 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. 3.925 
times 10 to the minus 25. That is 0.2 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by that is 815 times 10 to the 3. The units for this, charge is measured in coulombs. This is measured in kilos, so it's coulombs per kilogram. So this is a specific charge for the whole ion. And I have taken into consideration all of the mass and all of this charge for this ion. To make you aware, when it was in this form here, the whole atom had no charge at all. So it has no charge, no specific charge. So this whole atom has no specific charge. This ion does have a specific charge because it does have a charge. But sometimes you may be asked about the nucleus of the atom, the specific charge of the nucleus. And remember, the nucleus does not contain electrons. So, so now I'm looking at the nucleus of uranium-235. Okay, and I'm finding the specific charge of this nucleus. So that is charge divided by mass. Please be aware this equation is not directly on your data sheet. So the charge of my nucleus is going to be 92 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, because there's 92 protons. Ignoring all the electrons, I don't care about them, I'm just looking at the nucleus. I'm imagining if I ripped all the electrons away. Divided by 235 times 10 to the uh, times, oops, to apologize, 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. Again, I'm just looking at the nucleus. We don't add anything here. So that's 92 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 20, uh, minus 19, divided by 235 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27. And that gives me a number of 37 0.5 times 10 to the 6 coulombs per kilo. As you can see, this has a much bigger specific charge than this one because it has a much bigger charge. You may be asked in exams to find the specific charge for an ion or the specific charge for the nucleus. And it is really important that you are aware of, are the electrons affecting it or not? What charge is it? So underline those key terms and you'll be able to find the specific charge. This becomes very useful in the second year when you do electric fields. And you're looking at the effects in a uniform electric field of a charge accelerating linearly.